I have brought you today to the Parker Creek Camping and Recreation Area at Lake Griefen, just 14 miles north of Southwest Arkansas's Crater of Diamond State Park. You can kind of see the lake through there. And as we pan around, it looks like tailings from an old mine. And the reason it looks like that, that's exactly what it is. So what were they mining up here? Not diamonds. They were mining cinnabar. Oh, there used to be an old bench sitting there. I'll tell you about cinnabar in a minute. We'll, we'll walk right through this old bench. And the last time I was up here, I remember sitting on the bench and looking at two big signs that told all about this mine. And I was going to rely on those signs being here to tell you how deep this mine was and how many years it was in operation. But this was a World War II era mine and they've allowed it to fill with water so nobody goes down in there. But it is deep, hundreds of feet deep. And you can see the rock cliff where this mine was. And now they put a fence up so you don't go in there and that's fine, I don't want to. <laughs> but uh, let's explore while we're up here, other tailings, piles, and evidence of mine. That's not the only cut they had. But it looks like we can see some through here. We'll walk over to this tailings pile and see if there's another adit where they, where they mined. It's kind of obvious to me they did some mining up here as well. Let me tell you what cinnabar is. It's a bright red crystal. It's absolutely beautiful. If you can find some on the matrix, it makes a nice collection or a nice addition to your rock and mineral collection. So what that, what good is cinnabar? What good are those pretty red crystals besides just looking at them? Well, they melted them down in huge outdoor furnaces. And when you heat it, you make mercury. That's how you get that dense, shiny, silvery liquid is by heating a red crystal called cinnabar. And it was mined here just north of Murfreesboro. And these are the tailings piles. I'm uh, hiking a trail here that you can start at the Parker Creek Camping and Recreation Area. And the way you find that is go from the Crater of Diamond State Park and head north to Murfreesboro. At the big curve there at Murfreesboro, you'll see the Mexican restaurant. Well, don't follow the curve. Turn and follow the signs for Highway 19 north to Lake Greason and Narrows Dam. This, <clears throat> this is not a natural hill. This is a man-made tailings pile. And I've heard that if you search through them, you can sometimes find little red cinnabar crystals that the early miners missed. I haven't been fortunate to find any. A little out of breath, I climbed this hill and I'm an old man, but if I can do it, you can do it. There's a Canada goose down there in the water and the Parker Creek boat ramp is right across the way there. Uh, you'll see these orange diamonds on these trees and that marks the path you're supposed to follow coming up here. It's a well-marked path. Look, you can see them here and it makes a loop through this cinnabar mining district. Yeah, just follow all the the loops on these trees. So we'll do a little more hiking and investigate these other tailings piles and see where else they dug for cinnabar. This was World War II era and the men of Murfreesboro that didn't go to war worked in the cinnabar mines. And here is a really neat cut, another attic that has filled with water. There is a fence here to keep you from going in there. I guess you could if you wanted, but I don't want. 
I'll just stay out here, thank you. But you know they dug deep holes if they made tailings piles like that. Here's kind of a chat pile left from some of that. It looks like somebody was up here going through some of their tailings to see if they could find any cinnabar. The problem with cooking cinnabar, when you cook it, the men had to be outdoors and if they breathe those red fumes, it would kill them. So, uh, you know that mercury is toxic stuff. You don't want to mess with it. Well, the cinnabar can be too, of course, because it, uh, the mercury comes from cinnabar. Uh, this doesn't look very inviting. In fact, the only poison ivy I've seen on the entire trail is right here, like nature's barbed wire. Like the men didn't even have to put barbed wire up to keep you out. Poison ivy will, or at least it should. I've watched for poison ivy and snakes all the way up. And that's the only, only poison ivy I've seen and I haven't seen any snakes, but I watch for copperheads and rattlesnakes because they, they could come out on a sunny day like this and try to warm themselves in the sun. But anyway, pretty cool old mines, especially when you think the holes went hundreds of feet into the ground. It's an interesting hike. I know I sound out of breath, and the reason that is is I am. <laughs> but it's not a hard walk. And the map says three-quarter mile loop round trip. And this is kind of a neat stairway I just came down. Most of the walk is uphill all the way. When you get to a bench up here at the top of this hill, you'll want to turn right and, and follow the orange markers down the hill. And these are kind of neat stone steps they built for us to go down. But, so, <clears throat> at, I probably interrupted myself, but to tell you how to get here, when you get to Murfreesboro, at the Mexican restaurant, turn, drive towards Lake Grease and the Narrows Dam. Here's this bench at the top of the hill where you can rest, but don't way, walk way back in there like I did. <laughs> uh, turn to the left here and follow these orange markers and go down the hill to the tailings. But uh, so when you get to Narrows Dam, Turn left. Go over the Little Missouri River that comes out of the bottom of Narrows Dam and follow, go up the hill, follow the signs for Parker Creek Recreation Area. And at Parker Creek, you'll see a sign that says Cinnabar Hiking Trail. So just follow that trail up here and be 50 feet before you get to the bench. Turn and go down the hill and you can see this. Or you can just watch the video again if you don't want to hike. Leave the hiking to me. So I'm glad you joined us on this video. And uh, you might Google Cinnabar and learn about it or learn about Cinnabar mining in Pike County, Arkansas or north of Murfreesboro, Arkansas. So this these cinnabar mines were shut down about the time the dam was built. Narrows Dam was built 1947 to 1950. And these mines were being phased out at the time. <clears throat> Maybe even some of the men who used to work in the mine worked on building the dam. But then Lake Greeson was created. And uh, the lake is 12 miles long and fills this area. And backed water all the way up to here. So I'm gonna walk back down the hill now. But uh, thanks for joining me on this adventure to kinda study some of the old mining history just north of the Crater of Diamonds. No diamonds here, but uh, Cinnabar. The bright red crystal and at least go to Google Images and see what Cinnabar looks like. It's what the men we're digging deep into the earth to 
bring to the surface to sell here. So pretty cool stuff and if you want to take a hike in the woods, it's kind of fun really. I know I'm not selling it well because I'm out of breath, but uh, when I was walking up here, I enjoyed looking around at the trees and it looked like a kangaroo jumped across my path, but it was at the same color as a kangaroo and maybe about the same size, but a deer went running and jumping across in front of me. So you can enjoy seeing wildlife and uh, it's well shaded year round. Right now it's a sunny day, but very little sun is getting to the floor of the trail because the trees block it and uh, it's kind of cool looking up here all the rocks and stuff on this hill <clears throat> and from here it's downhill all the way so I shouldn't be too out of breath following these orange markers all the way down to my car and uh, you might bring a bottle of water with you on your hike I did and I've got another bottle of water waiting for me when I get down to the car but if you pack it in pack it out don't leave your candy bar wrappers or trail mix bags or water bottles up here no one's gonna come up here and pick up your trash and nobody else wants to hike out in the woods and see your trash so keep it clean respect the outdoors enjoy your hike in the woods maybe you'll scare up a deer or maybe even a kangaroo or at least you can imagine it was a kangaroo that you saw jump across uh, thanks for joining me on this hike to explore the cinnabar mines of southwest arkansas we're just 14 miles north of the crater of diamonds so if you come here you could camp at parker's creek you could fish there if you like or you could just come to hike and enjoy this nature hike and explore. Take your kids to see where, where they used to have an old mine. I brought my kids here when they were little and I don't remember when that was, but I know it was a long time ago because my little girl is now the mother of four. So I've got four grandkids by her and she was a little girl when we walked up here. I brought uh, my son Mark and my daughter Evelyn up here and at that time there were signs that told you all about the cinnabar mine, how deep they were and everything and now the signs are gone and the bench we sat on is rotted and only the metal supports for the bench are left but uh, you can see how easy this trail is to follow. It's well marked here in the woods and yet it's natural you know it's not like a black topper cement path but you can follow these orange markers all the way up and it makes a loop and you go all the way down and the sign said it was three quarters of a mile and i don't think they were saying three quarters of a mile one way it seems to be three quarters of a mile round trip and if you think well if that's the case why are you huffing and puffing and well the reason is <laughs> I've got fat and lazy all winter and sitting inside with this uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, I haven't got all the exercise I should have but if you want to get out and uh, enjoy nature fresh air I have not seen another human being here and uh, so it's not like I'm risking my health by encountering people there aren't little numbers along the way. I noticed the number 14 and number 9. And here's number 5. I don't quite know what all that means. But anyway, just follow the well-marked path and you'll find your way back to your car. And uh, you can see glimpses of the beautiful Lake Greason every now and then. And uh, people are in their boats down there fishing today and enjoying the great outdoors. So... Uh, <clears throat> you might consider this and uh, please watch my other YouTube videos on our Genuine Diamonds in AR channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me.